Hi everyone, uh, this is our September installment of the Innocence Project of Florida's video blog. And today we'll be talking about two specific issues, uh, the Supreme Court of Florida's creation of the Florida Innocence Commission, and a really important fundraising event that our board chair, Mark Schlackman, is doing where he'll be climbing a mountain in support of our organization. On July 1st, Chief Justice Kennedy of the Florida Supreme Court created the Florida Innocence Commission after one of our board members, Sandy Dallenberg, filed a petition for the creation of the Innocence Commission last year. This commission differs from the Innocence Project of Florida in a, in a few ways. Us at the Innocence Project, our job is to find folks in prison who are innocent and prove them innocent using DNA testing or other forms of newly discovered evidence that prove their innocence. Now, the Innocence Commission isn't going to look at any specific cases of folks who are already in prison. What they're going to do is look at the causes of wrongful convictions, things like witness misidentification, false confessions, uh, uh, improper use of unreliable jailhouse informants, um, use of unreliable and unvalidated sciences, and then issues with prosecutorial and defense attorney ethics. And they're going to see how those things cause wrongful convictions and then try to come up with consensus recommendations for how we can change the way we do things, change the criminal justice process, to prevent wrongful convictions in the future. So the Innocence Commission is going to be a little more policy oriented where the Innocence Project of Florida um, is more uh, based in litigation of cases that are still running through the system. Now the Commission is going to have their first meeting on September 10th. They have 23 members appointed from all different parts of the criminal justice system. They have prosecutors and defense attorneys, they have uh, judges and other practitioners, law enforcement, and even victim rights activists and academics. And the hope in the commission is that they're going to be able to come up with consensus recommendations for improving the criminal justice system and preventing wrongful convictions in the future. Um, they'll meet every 60 days for the next two years, and uh, the folks at the Innocence Project of Florida are going to be working very, very closely with them to make sure that they um, are looking at the issues that are most important to us and most important to you, our supporters. Now, Mark Schlackman, our board chair, has been our board chair for four years. For the second year in a row, he'll be climbing Mount Rainier out in Washington State in support of the Innocence Project of Florida. Now Mount Rainier is 14,411 feet tall. It's one of the tallest mountains in the United States. And uh, Mark will be climbing it with a team of professionals to make sure he stays safe. But he'll be doing it mostly to raise awareness and funds for the Innocence Project of Florida so we can continue to do our really important work to find people in prison who are innocent, free them, help them when they get out, and raise awareness about um, criminal justice issues and specifically about wrongful convictions and wrongful incarceration. Now he'll be going very soon here in September, and if you want to help um, his effort, you can go to our website, www.floridainnocence.org. Uh, there's a big picture of him on the front of the website, you can click on it, and I'll have more information about the climb and about his effort. And you can donate right from there, and there's uh, specific suggested donations um, that are directly correlative to the amount of feet that he will be climbing on the mountain. So please go to our website, and if you can, and support Mark and support him in helping us at the Innocence Project of Florida. Again, we'll be talking to you next month, and if you would like to go to our blog, you can do so um, right from our website. And do check out our website for other interesting news and happenings in the criminal justice system in Florida. Thanks, we'll see you next month.